Hello, Russell Hughes again from Sunset Learning. Today we're going to talk about the idea of being able to utilize access lists on a switch. And you're going to see access lists on your multi-layer switches mean multiple types of access lists. First off, we have already mentioned the idea of regular access lists, which on a switch, a multi-layer switch like your 6500, would be considered to be called a routed access list. Okay? Now, routed access lists are as traffic goes from one subnet to another subnet. So we're going to apply routed access lists on a multi-layer switch typically to our VLAN interfaces, our layer three connection for our VLAN. We also have what are known as VLAN access lists. And VLAN access lists allow me to go through and match traffic as it goes from one interface to another interface with inside the same VLAN. Okay? Now, we also have what are known as port-based access lists as well on a 6500. And port-based access lists allow me to say all traffic that comes in or out of a specific interface. Okay? So we have the potential on a 6500, if you really wish, to go through multiple access lists as we're going from one interface to another interface on the same switch. I may have an inbound port-based access list. I might have an inbound VLAN access list. I may have an inbound uh, routed access list and an outbound routed access list and an inbound VLAN access list and then an outbound port access list that we're looking at. Okay, So the potential is there to potentially have a, a six different access lists that we have to go through as far as filtering is concerned. Now obviously you typically would not want to have to go through six different access lists because the more access lists we have to go through the slower that processing is going to be. Okay? And the more processing time, the more delay, the more jitter of our packets. So then in this case we're going to go through and show you how to create what is known as a VLAN access list or VLAN access map. Very similar to access lists and route maps that we've talked about before, but in this case being applied to not an interface, we're going to apply it to a VLAN and all traffic that traverses that particular VLAN. So in this case, I've gone through and created our access list. So I'm in global config and I created my access list, access list number 100, that permits all IP traffic from the 10.1.9.0 subnet with a 00255 wildcard mask to any destination. I've also got a MAC address access list. My MAC address access list up over here on the top is an extended access list called Backup Server, and it permits any source IP address to talk to this particular MAC address. This is our Backup Server's MAC address. So now that we have the matching criteria, I'm eventually then going to create my VLAN access map. So right over here, I go through, again, notice I'm in global config, and I say VLAN access dash map, and I name it XYZ, and I put in a sequence number, sequence number 10. Essentially, it's like creating a sequence or a, a, a route map that we were looking for, a statement in a route map. And they're showing our matching criteria in this case is to match the IP address of 100. In this case, access list number 100. Okay? And notice our action in this case would be to drop that traffic. So if we see IP traffic coming from this source to any destination, we'll drop that traffic. We've got now a second statement in our VLAN access map, the XYZ statement number 20, says if it matches the IP or the MAC address access list called backup server that we created, again, our action is going to be to drop that traffic. Our last statement in this case, our access map called XYZ statement number 30, says Notice there are no match conditions, okay? And just like you would see in a route map with no match conditions, I'm going to match everything else. So they're matching all other traffic, and in this case, our action is going to be to forward that traffic. So I'm going to drop any traffic that comes from this subnet or any traffic that's going to this destination server. All other traffic is going to be forward, okay? And then I apply that VLAN access map to a list of VLANs. So I go through, under, again, under global config, I say VLAN filter, XYZ is the name of that VLAN access map that we created, and we're going to apply that to all VLANs, in this case VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Okay? So all traffic as it goes through VLAN 10 and 20, if it comes from this subnet, it's going to be dropped, or if it's going to this individual server, it's going to be dropped. All of the traffic is going to be allowed through. So very, very similar to what you would see as far as a route map and the way we utilize the route maps. So just more filtering that can be done on that iOS gateway at any given time. Okay. So thank you for coming in and joining us again. I hope to see you guys again sometime soon.